Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to my talk about multi-build Python here in this beautiful 2020 continuation. Uh, so first, uh, a little bit about me. I live in Sydney, Australia, surrounded by wildlife that wants to kill or maim me, and I have roughly 20 years experience with packaging software. Uh, most of that is Debian based, but uh, a lot of the concepts remain the same across dis disciplines and distributions. I started with Python in roughly the year 2001 and I quickly fell in love with it. Uh, so I've been following along with it from the early days of 1.4. Uh, I've been at SUSE now for coming up to five years and I've spent just over a year on the Python packaging team with uh, a few others. Uh, so I'm going to assume that you have some familiarity with the RPM build system, how macro expansion works, and a tiny bit of knowledge about OBS. So which version should we ship? Tumbleweed currently ships the full stack for Python 3.6, 3.8, and 3.9. So this means we make every effort to fix build failures for leaf packages in the, for those versions. We also currently ship Python 2.7 in Tumbleweed, but we're trying to remove it. And uh, disentangling it is, is quite hard work. We don't build any leaf packages for 2.7, uh, and a lot of upstreams are shifting their focus away from it, obviously. Uh, the main version of Python, so that is what you get when you run user bin Python 3, is currently uh, 3.8. Leap 15, ships 2.7 and 3.6 as its fully supported versions. So we build packages there for 2.7 and 3.6. Uh, we do ship later versions, uh, but only with the interpreter pip and setup tools, and so we don't build leaf packages for those later versions. So there's this disconnect between Python base and the Python package. Python base ships the actual binary, and the parts of the standard library that don't require external dependencies uh, because it's contained in ring one. Uh, the Python package contains everything else uh, because some modules require external C libraries and things like that. Um, that's a little bit of a lie too because Python base requires Bluetooth but we get around that. Uh, Python devel includes the header files like python.h and we of course build documentation in the Python docs package. Python as a bare word in our in, in package names means Python 2, whereas Python 3 has the version name uh, the version number in the name, such as Python 3.8 Devel or Python 3.9 base. So the macros I'm going to talk about are contained in this package. Uh, they're standard RPM macros, and that means they're written in Lua and not Python. So I'm going to skip over the internals. Uh, so I introduce this macro first, because pretty much every other macro uses it. Uh, we set this macro in the Tumbleweed project config and the Leap project config, uh, to which versions of Python we want to build modules for. Uh, so this is currently set to Python 3.6, Python 3.8, and Python 3.9 for Tumbleweed. If you don't specifically override it, that's what you'll get. Uh, you can override it if you wish, and uh, if you only want to build for a specific version of Python. Uh, you can set this to Python 3, and we call this single spec. Uh, so you'll only build for whatever the main version of Python is uh, when it's built. Uh, so some complex packages do this, like uh, TensorFlow. So Python build and Python install, these two macros both just basically call setup.py uh, for each version. Python build calls setup.py build, and Python install does the same thing, uh, and calls setup.py install. So Python expand loops over whatever is defined in percent Python, so you can run things for each version of Python. For instance, you may wish to remove something in each site package directory, or a, a run, a, run a custom test runner, or run fdupes, or, uh, or something. I uh, include this macro fairly early because a lot of the macros that I mentioned further on down the track uh, use this internally. 
So from time to time you may need to know what version of Python you're building under. Uh, so you can, for example, on the build require on a module for, for one version of Python only. Uh, so these two macros help with that. Uh, so Python version returns the minor version, so 3.6, and the no dots variant returns a whole number, so 36. So skip Python is a definition and not a macro. Uh, set it to 1, and that will instruct uh, other macros such as Python expand that they should skip uh, this version. So for example, percent define skip underscore Python 361. Uh, you could specify it multiple times, but any more than two, you should probably think about setting percent Pythons. Uh, and you can't use this definition to switch to single spec, because if you do, then the package you're left with will contain that version and not be called, for example, Python 3. It will be Python 3.8 something. Uh, so Python module, we use this in build requires. Uh, it will add on Python dash for you and will also loop over every version in Pythons. So build requires Python underscore module requests will install Python 3.6 requests, Python 3.8 requests, and Python 3.9 requests. Um, this can also get a little awkward when modules already have Python in the names, so you get things like build requires Python module Python dash foo. And due to the way this expansion works, you can specify Python module devel, which will pull in, for example, Python 3.8 devel. Uh, so this line noise exists in a lot of spec files. Uh, it defines an expansion for Python module if it doesn't exist, uh, so that it will pull in Python foo and Python 3 foo. If your spec file is really only for Tumbleweed and it won't go anywhere older, then you can you, you don't need this, you can remove it. Uh, but it also doesn't hurt because it will only take effect if Python module isn't defined. Uh, so Python sub packages, Python files, this will expand your source package to Python X name. Uh, so for example, Python 3.9 Django, where it includes the version number. Uh, the macro effectively generates new spec files for each version it encounters, and uh, along with its friend Python files, and that expands the uh, percent file section. I've listed these macros together because you have to use them together. If you if you have one without the other, you'll get errors. Uh, so since a fair number of packages ship entry points that are installed into user bin, uh, this means we need to specifically handle that case when we build packages for multiple versions, since we're not able to ship the same file in multiple packages. Uh, Twisted is a really nice complex example of, of this because it ships uh, a lot of entry points. Uh, so we, uh, we use clone to clone the script, which moves it from script name to script name dash version. And then in the file section, we mark it as an alternative. Uh, don't forget to requires post update alternatives, as well as requires post on update alternatives. Uh, and be sure to add Python install alternative and its opposite Python uninstall alternative to the uh, post and post on sections. Don't worry if you missed uh, all of this, it will come up later. So Python site lib, Python site arch, they expand to the, uh, firstly to the arch, arch independent site packages. Uh, so distutils calls this uh, pure lib, as in modules that are pure Python. Uh, and that's most often used because most modules are pure Python. And the arch dependent one, uh, distutils calls this platlib, and you'll use that for packages that build a shared object, a .so file, um, or use something like a CFFI. Uh, so these testing macros, so Python PyUnit test and its architecture cousin, they set the Python path environment variable, and then call Python minus m unit test discover, which discovers tests and then uh, runs them. Uh, percent pytest and its arch dependent cousin percent pytest underscore arch sets the Python path uh, and then calls pytest to do the same. 
Uh, some packages still call the last one on the list, but upstream setup tools has deprecated that use of setup pi, uh, and so you should update them to use the first macro. But also, you shouldn't feel the need to be constrained by these macros uh, only. To pick on Twisted again, it, for example, uses a trial in its uh, check section to run tests. So let's let's put this all together. So we have a, a simple example, uh, Python crowns. I've trimmed down the spec file uh, so it'll fit on screen. I've dropped things like version, release, description, and the prep section. So you can see we only really require setup tools Python module and the RPM macros package to build it. So this package also contains no tests, so there's no check section. But this shows how uh, Python module, Python sub packages, Python build, Python install, Python files, and the Python site led macros all work together in one spec file. So if we build it, it gives us the source RPM and the three binary packages for each Python version. And if we pick on Python 3.9 crayons, you can see it ships the pi cache files, uh, the egg info, the crayons module itself, uh, its readme, and the license. So this is a more complex example, uh, Python Raven. I've had to trim it down a lot more because it's a lot larger. Uh, you can see that we're using version qualifiers in Python module build requires. And this is the update alternatives requirement that I mentioned before. Uh, so build is very simple here, uh, but during install we need to clone the Raven CL, CL, uh, CLI tool and run ftubes. During check we export an environment variable for Django's benefit and then we use the percent pytest macro. And as you can see we can pass command line arguments to pytest using the other macro. Uh, so here we install and uninstall the alternative, and we also mark it as an alternative in the files section. Uh, as a bonus example from Python Talks, uh, we can see here if guards for a, a build requires. We can't use Python module here because that will expand against Pythons, and we can't do that since uh, import lib metadata only exists for Python 3.6. Uh, we also need to check for both Python 3 base and Python 3 6 base, so we handle both Tumbleweed and Leap, uh, since uh, this may be backported to uh, either distribution. Uh, so future plans that we have, we, we're, we're discussing allowing user control over which version of Python is run for user in Python 3, uh, but this gets a bit complicated and uh, may in fact uh, not work out well for things like single spec and things like that. And we'd also very much like to remove Python 2 from Tumbleweed, uh, but it's pretty firmly wedged in there with uh, with a lot of things, uh, unfortunately still requiring it. So would you like to help? Um, you can of course file bugs on any packages. Uh, you can send us a uh, submit request to our development projects in OBS, which is uh, Devel Languages Python, uh, or its sub-projects, and we have an IRC channel on LibreChat, which is uh, percent, uh, p hash, OpenSUSE Python. And uh, thank you for listening. Are there uh, any questions?